Okay, in this video we're going to be making a basic room for the dungeon mod. So I've already selected my dungeon size that I want to work with. So if we do a set stone, this is the size of the room that each of my cells are going to be in the dungeon. So you can see that each little cell area is uh, this size. Um, and you can customize the size in the mod. But if we just do a set air and then face a stone, that will make it hollow. So we just punch out some doors here so that these will connect to the other room. Ooh, I'm bad at punching out doors today. So. Uh, this room, I think, is just going to be a basic uh, room with some jumps. So since this is going to be in the air, I'm just going to break the floor here in just an arbitrary pattern. And so if the player goes over one of these holes, they're going to fall to their death. Um, so they're going to have to jump. And there might be monsters chasing them from other rooms. Um, but we're also going to put a chest here, um, a regular chest, right at the ceiling. So if they're concentrated, if they're looking around the room, they'll see it. But if they're just trying to navigate the jumps, they might miss it. But in the chest, we're going to just put a, let's put a diamond sword. That's a nice reward. Let's put that right in there. And maybe some food as well. Very good. So now I already have the area selected. Um, let's make the daytime. So we're going to copy in that same place. Well, you should copy your dungeon in the same place for every room that you make. So for me, that's right here. So I'm just going to do slash slash copy. I'm going to scam save and then call it something unique. So that's going to save. And then I'm going to hop over to my mod here. And then this rooms function here, or this rooms variable, uh, we're just going to add a new item to the list. And it's just going to be the schematic, which is dungeon 2. And my other one is dungeon 1. So we're going to hit mod. Hop back over into the game. And let's get up over here to see if we can not destroy anything with this. So we're going to run the dungeon mod and give it a second to load the dungeon. It's loaded. Now if we go in and look at the rooms. Nice. So this is the room that we just made. And it has the diamond sword and stake in it. And then this was the other room that we made in the other video. Um, there's a trap room that spawns these cave spiders when the player walks in it. But as you can see, there's like a random um, distribution of rooms. So you can have two rooms, you can have just one room, or you can have as many rooms as you want. And you make this cool dungeon.